Today we are painting a War Games exclusive Imperial City car. I originally bought this for my Adeptus Mechanicus in the hopes that they would add transports in Warhammer 40k 8th edition and well we know that didn't work out so decided to do something a little different with it. Uh, we're gonna paint a space taxi pretty much. I started off with flat yellow, uh, but that color looked a little bit too, well, flat. And so we are actually starting off with uh, a coat of Vallejo Game Color Scruffulous Brown. The Scruffulous Brown is a little bit on the transparent side, so Putting it over that flat yellow actually was uh, kind of beneficial, screwing up with the original initial coat of the flat yellow. Uh, so on top of that, however, we are now working with game color sun yellow, and we're leaving the previous brown coat uh, a little bit in the recesses. We're mainly concentrating this sun yellow on the top of the fender areas and the, the roof and the hood. And then our final color, an equal 50-50 mix of sun yellow and white, being very delicate with this color, placing on the tops of the fenders, uh, a little bit on the hood, uh, any other areas that I think would catch light. Uh, trying to get some of the center panels on the top and a few of the edges here and there. We're not done with the yellow yet, but we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead and take care of the metal areas. Uh, for all the metal, I am starting off with an undercoat of Lejo Model Air Steel mixed with black. That'll give us a nice solid surface to work our other steel colors upon. For all the trim, we would expect that to be chrome. So we're gonna go ahead and use Vallejo Model Air Chrome. I thought this would be another good opportunity for me to play around with my Sky Earth Metallics uh, inks over metallic paint idea that I've tried uh, on a couple times so far, mainly on uh, I believe it was a Paladin figure for AD&D. And uh, what we're doing now is we're using very, very thin Vallejo Model Color Dark Prussian Blue and we're applying a nice blue tint to the upper highlight areas. Now, if we consider the top highlight being at 12 o'clock, uh, this highlight would be going on at around 2 o'clock. So, because the 12 o'clock we're going to get our bright silver highlight there. So, go ahead and apply this. Uh, you could increase it as necessary, let the first one dry, and add a couple la layers as needed. Just don't go too blue. For our shade on the chrome, I am going with Vallejo Game Color Charred Brown. And this is kind of the opposite of what we did with the blue. This color is going to go in the recesses and the shade area, so any area that would be uh, pointed towards the ground that would pick up the color of the earth. Uh, we're going to go ahead and coat that. Uh, some places where wouldn't get quite an earth reflection, we'll just use like one or two coats of the charred brown. Uh, the areas bending around to the underneath undercarriage of the car, that's going to get a few more coats. Once you get your blue and your brown applied, you can go ahead and go back once again with chrome to do any cleanup work as needed. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of the metal. This metal we want a little bit darker, so I'm starting off with an undercoat of steel. For the engine and pipe bits, uh, I want that a little bit more dirty because of you know oil and grease and what have you, working parts essentially. I uh, want that dirty, so we are starting off with uh, a light wash of Vallejo uh, Game Color Brown Ink. I also want to give the impression of heat. Uh, so I'm kind of going for, this is more of a uh, color, something you would see on really uh, 
high heated aluminum where you start getting different colors appearing on it. Uh, but I'm giving it a wash of Vallejo game color, excuse me, model color dark Prussian blue, the same blue that we used on the chrome actually. And then finally, for a little bit more color to the engine, a very light wash of game color hexed lichen. Each one of these washes we've done, it's been in a decreasing amount. So the brown was overall a little bit on the thicker side compared to the blue, which was in turn a little bit thicker than the hexed lichen. So each one is a little bit thinner and each one gets more concentrated in the recesses as we go. And then our final color, just to get some dark line and make, every, make sure everything stands out, we have black charred brown, both mixed with some glaze medium, so I have enough time to clean it off as necessary. Uh, this color is going into all those little recesses or any area where I want a bit more contrast. And then the absolutely final step, we just have to go back and reapply steel wherever we went a little bit too overboard with the washes. Uh, just reapply the steel to clean up those areas. So let's go back to the yellow and here is where we have a bit of a problem. While I was doing the washes, I noticed they were coming out very messy. They were hitting the yellow areas and just spreading out. And while it could be because I'm a terrible painter, I want to put that past me, uh, I think it actually has something to do with either how this kit was cast or the 3D nature, because this was originally a, a 3D rendered uh, car that was printed or cast. And when the wash would hit the yellow, it would just spread. And so either it was because of the, the recesses were kind of rounded off or because of the slight texture left from the 3D printing. At any rate, I had to go back and repaint a lot of the yellow. Yellow is very hard to paint, especially if you're trying to do it over black. So while I was intending just to do some touch-up work, I did a lot more here. So I had to go back and start cleaning things up and decided just to increase the highlights while I was at it. Uh, we are starting off with a mix of flat yellow and a game color sun yellow. For the edge highlighting, I've added white to the previous flat and sun yellow mix. And this color I'm using to pick out all the panels, add a few extra highlights here and there. Uh, however, it's mostly an edge highlighting right now. So I got the highlight areas cleaned up now. Now I have to worry about the shade areas. So we're going to clean this up and also re-emphasize them. And for that, I am using, once again, Game Color Scruffulous Brown. Uh, this time I've mixed a little bit of Game Color Parasite Brown into it as well. So this is going on the undercarriage area and also, well, mainly just that big recess panel uh, running along the side where it, it indents quite well. Uh, which was kind of pointless now that I think about it because we're eventually going to put a big decal there. So mainly this is just going on the uh, area of bending towards the undercarriage. And then for our final recess shade using straight parasite brown on that undercarriage area. And for the shade areas I have been mixing in some glaze medium. Uh, to it. So I'm applying it and then working it out uh, with a moist brush, kind of blending the shade into the areas where I need it. Now it's time to turn our yellow car into a space taxi and doing that by adding a whole bunch of homemade decals. Uh, made some uh, payment signs off where the sides of the doors, little mech cab on the front, and also using some white decal paper to put a checkerboard pattern down the side. The checkerboard pattern is actually just a border out of Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. 
we've gotten to the point where we could finally do some weathering. I uh, wasn't sure how much I wanted to weather this in the beginning. I was hoping to keep it a bit clean, but uh, because of the messy areas, because of the wash, decided to bang it up a little bit. So we're starting off with the scratches, and for that I am using a very teeny tiny brush and some Vallejo Game Color Charred Brown. Then to highlight all our scratches, Vallejo Model Color Flat Yellow mixed with a good amount of white, uh, applying a highlight edge uh, along the bottom of the chip so it stands out more. And when you're applying this, I uh, really think it's better if you apply more with a, a stabbing motion with the brush rather than uh, you know, dragging it like you normally would. Uh, stabbing gets a more of a jagged pattern. I think it's more realistic for scratches and chips. This is a car, which means we have to collect a lot of dirt on the bottom area. And for that, I'm using oil paints, specifically Ammo by MIG's Oil Brusher series. And I've applied a mix of a Starship filth with a little bit of rust mixed in. Dab that on, and now I'm going back with a regular brush and trying to just smooth it out. Uh, the brush is very lightly dampened with some odorless thinner and we're just uh, blending it in essentially, smoothing it out, removing it where I put a little bit too much on, uh, just trying to get a you know general dirty pattern, the kind you would normally see on the bottom of a car. The car has been flat varnished now, and uh, that is to protect the oil paint. And so now I'm doing a panel line wash with black and charred brown mixed with some glaze medium. Normally I would use enamel washes for this, but because of the issue with the washes spreading out on the surface of this kit, I decided to go for a thicker option. So just applying it in the recesses. Uh, we also have the glaze medium in there, so that gives us enough working time to clean up any mistakes with a Q-tip as needed. Last thing to paint is the windshield, and I decided to try something a little bit new here. Uh, undercoated or base coated with game color cold gray. And now on the bottom area of the windshield, I am adding increasingly amounts of German gray to the cold gray. And I have some glaze medium mixed in, and I'm slowly wet blending in our darker color. And as we go lower on the windshield, I'm adding a little bit more of the German gray and uh, repeating the process. On the upper side of the window, I'm doing the exact same thing. However, the colors I'm using is cold gray mixed with steel gray uh, mixed with some model color um, German uniform, uh, field uniform, excuse me, and uh, a little bit white at the end. Uh, the idea I had from the picture I saw was I'm, I was trying to get the idea of, you know how a window is semi-reflective if the light hits it correctly, and that's what I was trying to get, a reflection of a city uh, from the windows, so uh, a darker, uh, darker gray color on the bottom and then a slight bluish color on top. I didn't want to go for a full blue, I wanted more of a a dirty city blue. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out here, mainly because uh, the area I'm working on is a bit too small. If I had a larger area to work with, and also uh, if I didn't have the overhang over the top of the window, it would actually literally block some of the highlights. Uh, I think I would have made it work a little bit better, but uh, anyway, tried it, it came out okay, uh, and then I covered with a whole bunch of coats of gloss, so we have a, a somewhat glass reflection still happening. But uh, yeah, there is our whole War Games exclusive car, Space Taxi, or Mech Cab, trying to uh, still include a little bit of the original purpose of me buying this, which was for Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, I kind of saved a screwed up paint job here. Well, semi-saved it. Uh, big issue with the washes. Yeah, having them spread out like that uh, made me... Uh, 
extremely upset with myself because I thought I forgot how to paint all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, it was just very odd. I've never experienced getting a wash into a recess and then just having it you know, spread out like putting a tissue on a you know, damp tablecloth or something like that. That's how it's spread out. Um, but overall, came out okay. We managed to salvage a little bit of it. My chrome still needs a bit of work. I'm still working on this new thing. And my, I guess I'm calling it the Sky Earth Metallics look. So I want to play around with that a little bit more. Uh, but overall, it's a, a fun little project. Just do have to worry about it. It is a 3D... It's a cast of a 3D print. So... Um, you may have that same issue I had with the washes. Uh, if I did this again, I would use a little bit of a thicker primer on it, and hopefully that would take care of it. Maybe some uh, Gunzi Senyo uh, primer that's supposed to cover up pretty well. But, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens if we ever do one of these again. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Mom!